All right, let's go play Devonshire again. Let's see if we can get a decent Devonshire game before we get off stream. Let's see. All right, good. Lots of you guys get into the Don't forget to get into the giveaway. Give it away a crate and a code. Come take Wargaming's free stuff. I got to get rid of it. No, was Ag no, Agla wasn't Cole. Agla was like a... Agla was a reward ship for like directives or something. It wasn't a coal ship. You didn't spend coal on Agla, did you? Surely not. Oh, look, more carriers. Yay. What could possibly be more fun than that? At least it's not a double... Was it coal? All right, I didn't think it was coal. Hmm. Waste. Waste of money. Hmm. When she first came out, I remember testing the ship, and she was kind of fun because she was different. Um, but, like, the tech tree ship is better. <laughs> Why? It has a reload booster. It has a reload booster. Smoke is of so... Like, smoke for a French destroyer is just not really useful. I'd rather have the reload booster. I'd rather have the ability to annihilate an enemy destroyer as soon as I find him. Shut up, Duke. You're irritating. That's the one opening line that I wish I could get Major Renegade to change. It's just, it, he talks for like 20 seconds at the start of a match. It's, it's just unnecessary. <laughs> well, exactly, 1911. They play like light cruisers, except Aglo, which wants to still be a destroyer, except that she's not, so don't pretend it, right? Don't pretend like you are. You ain't. Give it up. Give it up. Yeah, Aglo's just not a good ship. They're not even killing these planes. The Kutuzov should be slaughtering those aircraft. I love cruisers, but the but the entire French destroyer line is, is is really fun, honestly. Because they play more like little light cruisers. They're little pocket cruisers and they're oh, they're silly fun, man. But like Thank you, Mahal. Um but like the um Agla is just Agla doesn't doesn't fit that bill, right? Like it doesn't it doesn't match up with what the last rest of the line does well or even decently. So yeah, that feels pretty awful. All right, if we have a destroyer here, it'll be the Zed. The Fubu's up north. Our Icarus is committing suicide. Okay, all their destroyers are up north, so we're free to cap. Okay, the Icarus is gonna die. The Zed's going to flush him out, and the other team's going to just shoot him off the board, because they have, like, five of them there. Yeah, I know. Our Akatsuki has no brain. Uh, what do you want from me? I'm going to go into this cap. This is ill-advised, but I'm doing it anyway. Mogador is a beautiful ship. Kleber is a beautiful ship, right? But the... Um, but yeah, putting them side by side, like uh, with the American destroyers, is pretty telling. Because they're just not—they don't—they don't belong. Like the American destroyers just look like. Why is this ship so massive? All right, the buddy doesn't outspot me, so I can keep moving here. And get this cap done. All his, yeah, the entire enemy team, they're all at sea. We need to kill this Mahan and get on with our life. Can I get something out of the AP at this range? I don't know. Let's find out. I wish the Vlad would take a shot. Why is he not shooting at broadside light cruisers? Thank you. Like, what's the deal, dude? What does it take? As one of my band directors would have said, do you need a hand engraved invitation? All right, Benson, you have a health, you have a health lead. Yeah, he went forward. He went forward, which I wasn't expecting. 
hilariously. I wasn't expecting him to move forward. Turning out. He's turning out. And we have Mutual Destroyer Annihilation, whereby our Benson lost a gunfight with a Mahan that had half his HP. In the meantime, we are just going to go dark again because these clowns don't outspot us. I'm waiting for them to start the fire so I can extinguish it. And there we go. Now, this is a force to be reckoned with. Ah, uh, much better. The stealth on this ship is handy at times. So I'm out here basically spotting for the Vlad. No, between me and the carrier, anyway. All right. Oh, we outspot the Dallas. He'll be around the he'll be around the corner in just a moment. I'm gonna kick your ass, bitch. Time for some fisting. Right at this point, the best thing I'm doing is is giving the Vlad a chance to wipe these guys out, but he's just really failing at it. Our Akatsuki is... I have no idea what our Akatsuki is doing. Apparently, he doesn't like winning. Apparently, he thinks winning is for losers. I'm still a heavy cruiser, dude. See what I mean? You should have stuck with the HE, booty. Just keep shooting, Budioni. Just keep shooting. No, the Vlad is not a very good shot. You are 100% correct. Our Kaga is going to die because apparently he doesn't have any idea how to stay away from cap circles. Which feels kind of bad. Good news is in a moment I'm going to have shots on the FUBU. We really, I really need the Vlad to kill this Budioni. The fact that he hasn't is honestly a little distressing. <sighs> well, I'm trying to spot, right? I kept I kept the Budioni lit for the Vlad. Like, go ahead and kill him. Kill him anytime now. And he just, he flatly refused. So fine, we'll switch to the HE. Well, lucky shot. Thank you. Why did that take so long? Oof. Oh, look who's up around this island. Look who's up around this island, kids. Power on. Now it's time to kick some ass. I'm gonna feel that. 
dead one in the morning. Ah, uh, much better. Oh, hi. Now, what I'm doing is kind of inadvisable, but I'm doing it anyway. So let's see what happens. Our team has taken the lead. Oh, Griefer, it's another it's another exciting night in noob land around here. You know how it goes. Don't swing your ass into the torpedo, thank you. This is bad. This is a bad decision, but I'm doing it anyway. He's going to succeed in turning me away. This is going to fuck up my hair. I'm letting the flood go because I can just repair it and I don't care. One thing is, I've got this carrier so tied up in knots, there's just nothing he can do to impact the rest of the game. The rockets don't even frighten me. I can just heal some of that stuff. Oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, whatever. I don't care. You do you. Uh-oh! Bite me. Bite me, son. <sighs> worth it. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Things I learned that game. Devonshire's AA is probably sufficient for Tier 6. At Tier 8, she struggles a bit, but it's... Okay. It's not amazing. But totally worth it.